Today, I wanted to discuss some things I personally love with RPGs that I would love to see incorporated in the future of Genshin Impact. This is five features, mechanics, or even quality of life add-ons that I would love to see moving forward. Comment below if you agree or disagree and let me know what you think. All right, here we go. Number one, in no particular order, would have to be we need to develop a pet system. The pet system would include auto loot, auto heal. The pet could have extra stats that would be added on to our base stats once that pet is equipped. And lastly, the pet would have to have its own personal skill that we could uh, click on and it would be a buff that would last a certain amount of time, like 10 minutes. And that buff would just buff us up, give us like an attack buff, a stamina buff, a defense buff, decrease in stamina consumption, something that when we equip that particular pet, that pet will be able to give us a buff that we can use in a domain, in the world, in the dungeon, in whatever we do. Auto loot and auto heal on a pet is going to be amazing so we don't have to go around picking up all that loot that's scattered everywhere during the battle that falls in the water that gets blown away by an animal gust or or whatnot and then the auto heal so we don't have to keep healing ourselves with the z button we can just set an auto heal like the statue of the sevens have a have a certain amount of percentage that we can heal ourselves while we stand near it so that's the pet system. That's number one. Number two, I would love to see some type of exclusive fashion in the game. Imagine it's Christmas and there's a Christmas events and we could go and farm different monsters or a special monster for Christmas that drops an exclusive Santa hat. How cool would it be to equip your favorite character, put your character out, Go into the dressing room, equip the fashion that you want, the Santa hat that we just looted, and walk around with a Santa hat. <laughs> How can you say no to that? That would be... That would be it. <laughs> Any type of exclusive fashion in the game would be amazing. I know there's skins that are said to be coming in later on, but just imagine your own exclusive fashion that you can equip onto your characters and make them how you want to make them not just skins that we can buy but fashion that we can match mix and match together to make something of our own something of our own <laughs> something of our own number three i would love to see different types of travel options in the game such as mounts we already have gliders gliding through the skies of is great and all but i would love to be able to have some other type of way of travel like mounts we can ride on hilly trolls there could there could be a hilly troll mount that we can jump on its back piggyback to monstat there could be different types of other gliders maybe a hot air balloon to go through the sky you can have a hot air balloon that you can uh, share with uh, a friend you guys could travel together some type of different travel option i would love to see it maybe ride a a tiger or something in the game <laughs> number four i would love to see a test dummy system you know there's that area in monstat where we had to do a commission to go and break all of those test dummies in one shot that could be the test dummy area where we go there and just test our artifacts our damage our our e our q elemental burst our team comps test all that together to see how much damage we can output and when we get there they would automatically make our elemental burst full so we could just keep testing it over and over and over again without having to go out and get more energy recharge to fill it up yes can i get an amen <laughs> um how much was that was that four or five well i think this is number five Number five would have to be 
What am I missing? We got, oh yeah, number five would be the, they just added in the archives, the living beans section. It would be really cool for a perk to give us more extra stats on our characters if we could go out and collect like monster cards from the different monsters. And it would also give us incentive to go farm them. So for example, the monsters would drop like a card or something. And when we get the card, we can use it and it would have a per certain percentage of success. And once it succeeds, it would activate in our living beans and give us a specific stat that adds on to our base stats. It, um, a lot of other RPGs do this. It's called like a monster codec. Monster codex or an item codex. Collecting items and once we succeed those items, we can get those extra stats for our characters and just have them even more powerful in the long term. So that's, that's my five things I would love to see in the future of Genshin Impact. Let me know what your thoughts are below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Welcome to the channel. Um, please subscribe if you're new. We're going to have more gaming videos, Genshin videos, and if you like fashion, fitness, or skateboarding, come over to my Instagram, say hi, and let me know you came here from YouTube. <laughs> Ready? Thank you for watching. Have a good night and see you in the next video.